This is New Lanark, famous in world history. The mills and dwelling houses here have been preserved from more than 200 years ago. So what links all of this to the Wise Group in Glasgow? The answer, one of Scotland's great pioneers of social change, David Dale. David Dale is a very, very important figure in Scottish history and he was uh, one of Scotland's entrepreneur philanthropists in the 18th century. He was one of the earliest founders of the uh, factories in Scotland, uh, in particular for cotton manufacturing. So he made a partnership with De uh, Richard Arkwright, who'd invented a new type of cotton spinning machine, which required water power to drive it. And together, uh, they identified this site at New Lanark, close to the Falls of Clyde, as suitable for uh, establishing one of the new uh, factory systems. At the time, it took an engineering miracle to build these mills. That's one reason New Lanark became famous. It certainly was a tremendous feat of civil engineering. The basic components of the site, though, were here, in, uh, beside the, the Falls of Clyde because they, they needed water power, which was produced by the river, and they needed sandstone to build all the buildings, and they were able to quarry that locally because effectively the, the gorge is made of sandstone. But New Lanark became world famous for another significant reason. In the 18th century, David Dale was among the first entrepreneurs to link the importance of the welfare of his workers to the growth of the new industrial capitalism. He was very wealthy, a very shrewd businessman, but he was also a tremendous philanthropist. He believed that he had a God-given talent for business and he could use that talent to help benefit those less fortunate than himself. So what ties the knot of history between David Dale and the Wise Group? Well, for one, the Wise Group's headquarters today are on the very site where David Dale's Glasgow mansion once stood. Very steady. You okay? Yeah. Glasgow's Lord Provost unveiling a plaque to commemorate the link between David Dale, New Lanark and the Wise Group. A real coincidence of, of history, a wonderful coincidence of, of history. And I, I'm delighted that Wise Group is going to make this uh, exhibition of uh, David Dale a permanent uh, feature of the, of the building because I, I do think it, in commemorating him, you're really comm commemorating your own foundations and that's what I think is wonderful. We make a difference to people's lives, we're trying to create a fairer society and we believe in sustainable economic growth. So really David Dale was the first Glaswegian that led to the type of organisation the Wise Group is now. So we've tied a knot in history that goes back 240 years. Yes, a marvellous link, a marvellous historical link but there's more, much more. If you go to St. Bride's, East Coast Bride, for example, the piazza, the red brick, almost medieval bulk of that building. I mean, absolutely brilliant. You, you never see a window but that's filled with light. And so the, the everyday trivia, you know, like light switches or plugs or anything like that, right, is removed from their interiors, right? What you get is brick stone, timber, whatever, it's reduced to its essence. St. Bride's Church was designed by the architects Gillespie, Kidd and Coyer. 
in the 1960s, they created an architectural revolution. A revolution based on churches and schools. This is a school that Izzy and I worked on and it was at a time when New Brutalism, as it was called, was a, a very forward-looking movement in London in architecture. And it, being younger then, we were interested in what was going on in London. The Izzy referred to there is Izzy Metstein. Metstein and Macmillan designed Our Lady in St Francis School, which later became the Wise Group HQ. For this school, the water tower up there, that shaped object on the top, is something you can see as a landmark. You can locate yourself in relation to the school. And if you're a wee girl late for school, you can run like hell because you can see where it is. Macmillan and Metstein created a phenomenal body of work. It's no exaggeration to say that their architectural signature became world famous. I think they're the top of their game in terms of post-war architecture, certainly in Scotland possibly in Britain. Uh, I think they were exploring themes which were important and innovative, which other people weren't doing. So in that respect, yes, like Thompson, um, but spatially, volumetrically, manipulation of light, I think they're on the top of the scale as architects. They had to design a water. Funnily enough, some of those who went to the school finished up top of the scale also as politicians. I do remember my first day at the big school, Charlotte Street, or to give it its proper title, Our Lady and St Francis Girls School, which was intimidating and scary. We had a head teacher called Sister Felicitas, who anybody who went to Charlotte Street under her guidance will remember her vividly. Very strong, very imposing woman. I was scared of her at the time, but looking back, she was probably a very remarkable woman given, you know, the quality of education she produced. What did, what, what did the school give you then in terms of what you got in the school and how you then moved on? Yeah. Well, to me, history was my subject at school and I had a great history teacher, Mr Dorian and Mrs Torrey. They really stood out for me and I remember them well to this day. I loved history and I think I got my love of politics from there. But... Uh, a colleague of mine in the House of Commons, Anne McGuire, also went to Charlotte Street a few years ahead of me, and her colleague Bridget Prentice went to Charlotte Street as well. The three of us all ended up at whips at various times in our political jobs. We think that says something about the discipline of Charlotte Street. And had we all been in the House of Commons at one time, Charlotte Street would have equaled Cheltenham Ladies College for producing the same number of women MPs. So, good old Charlotte Street. David Dale, New Lanark, Gillespie Kid and Coyer, MPs, MSPs, certainly passed its history test, eh? <laughs> <laughs>